Hey, are you interested in cutting your spend with AWS? Well, here are five simple tips. Number one, know your spend. Seeing your spend is the first step in keeping track of your costs. The same way you use a mobile banking app to check your money, AWS has tools available for you to see your costs. Use Cost Explorer to visualize your data. You can filter, group, and gain insights into your spend. It is often the simplest and the fastest option to see your spend. You can see either daily or monthly. Using Cost Explorer will help you identify trends and focus your optimizations. But if you want to go deeper, check out the AWS Cost and Usage Report or the Cloud Intelligence Dashboards. These allow you to drill down to resource level usage to see what is driving up your spend. Tip number two, turn stuff off. The same way as when you leave your house, you turn the lights off, turn resources off when you're not using them. The beauty of the cloud is if you're turning stuff off, you're not paying for it. The main two services that you can do this with are EC2 and RDS. You can use AWS Instant Scheduler to shut down resources at night or on the weekends to save money. You choose what time you turn these resources off and it's gonna be whenever it matches your schedule. All you have to do is tag the resources and let the solution do the rest. We have seen customers save up to 75% by using this solution. When implementing it, why not focus on non-production workloads to get you started? Tip number three, use AWS Graviton for managed services. AWS Graviton is a great way to save money. As a reminder, Graviton is a processor designed by AWS to deliver the best price performance for your cloud workloads. Now you can use it with EC2, but this will often mean recompiling your code. However, today's video is all about simple things that you can do straight away. This is where the managed services come in. If you wanna get started with Graviton, check out things like RDS, EMR, and OpenSearch, and all the other managed services to get you started. Changing your resource type for Graviton is easy as AWS manages what is going on under the hood anyway. So let us do the work for you. All you have to do is look out for the instance types with a G in the name. You could go a step further and consider taking Graviton to all of your defaults in your infrastructure as code. This will mean whenever you build these resources, you'll be using Graviton by default and get saving immediately. Hey, if you're enjoying this video and want to see more, why not hit that subscribe button now? Tip number four, don't forget about the others. No, not the 2001 horror film. I mean the little services that cost you money. These are things like CloudWatch, EKS, and EC2 Other. These services are often forgotten about when it comes to cost planning and are the cause of overspending. So firstly, when planning your budget, think about these services. I've seen customers add about 5% to their normal bill to budget for these tools. Then when you're actually using the services, make sure that you're actually looking at the spend. Use Cost Explorer to focus on these other services that I mentioned. When looking at these services, these can often overspend quickly. So why don't we go into some tips on how to fix this? For CloudWatch, overspending happens when you push more logs than are needed. This increases your process costs and your storage costs. For EKS, don't waste your money on on-demand. They're perfect setup for spot. So check out Carpenter to learn more. I'll drop a link in the description below. For EBS, think about all the different ways that you can unattach these resources. So EBS, Elastic IPs, and ELBs become unattached and you're not even using them, so get rid of them. Let us know in the comments if you have any other ways to optimize the others. Finally, tip five, set alerts for your spend. This talk is all about avoiding spend. Even if you do all the little things that we've spoken about, we still want a little safety net just in case. This is where AWS budgets and AWS anomaly detection come in. Budgets are for when you have a max spend that you want for your account, and if you keep get even close, you wanna know about it. Whereas anomaly detection is looking for those outliers in those unexpected spends. So for example, with EC2, if your spend is constantly going up each month and it does get close to your budget, you'll get an alert. Whereas anomaly detection won't be triggered because it was expected. Whereas if it's one of your others, maybe CloudWatch, and there's a big spike you weren't expecting, anomaly detection will let you know that something isn't right. By default, all new accounts have anomaly detection enabled, but check the old ones and set one up today. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you want to learn more about cost optimization, check out our Twitch show, The Keys to AWS Optimization. It's on every Thursday at 10.30 Eastern time, only on twitch.tv slash AWS.
I'll see you there.